Hey, it's Wednesday and we're on the Willoway Dock. Look at all these gorgeous plants shipping on the dock. Let's take a quick walk through and check them out. First of all, right here we have a uh, beautiful forsythia. This is uh, Magical Gold and the Plants at Work series. And this is another one that blooms up and down the stems. Big, large flowers, much larger than most of the varieties. And uh, great selection. This is an unusual uh, arborvitae. This is Stooja Whipcord. And uh, you can see really nice texture plant. This one will eventually grow to about four foot high and wide. Very hardy plant, cool foliage. Thuja Whipcord. Hey, look at the buds on these. This is Excordia Snow Day. And if you've not used Excordia, let me come in here and show you. Look at the bud count on these. This is really going to explode here in the weeks ahead. These are just gorgeous plants. Look at the bud count, guys. Outstanding plant. Excordia Snow Day. You guys are preparing the uh, loads this morning. Here's two great Dutias. And uh, you know, our growers early on took these and trimmed them to shape them up. And uh, you can see now that's really paying off in dividends. On the uh, right, we have Dutia Nico. And again, very nice, tight plant. Look at the bud count on those. Beautiful. And then also we have the Proven Winners New Yuki series. This one happens to be Cherry Blossom, which is the first pink um, dwarf Dutzia here. It's going to be very popular. Both of these plants are going to be flowering up soon. you want to get them on your orders. Dutzia. Here we have another great uh, spring blooming plant. And uh, this is quince. This is the double take quince. No fruit, no thorns on these. Just a lot of big flowers. And uh, let's come down here and you're seeing the buds are just starting to open up a little bit. These are loaded with flower buds. This is an outstanding plant with big flowers. This is the quince double take series. Here we're looking at uh, spruce baby blues. And then next to them, look at the new growth popping out on all of our euonymus. This is just looking outstanding. Here we're looking at some hellebores and look at those beautiful cherries. Here they're uh, snow fountain cherries. And uh, you can see they're just starting to open. They're opening up in the landscape. This would be gorgeous to have on the lot. Look at the size of these three gallon Royal Family Hollies. Here we have a very nice order of our grow bag Skyrocket Junipers. As you can see here, really nice form to them. Uh, beautiful shape on them. Good value. I think you can see the flowers on these Erica. They're still growing strong. Look at the new growth on these. Here we have the first editions. This is Daravilla Cool Splash. And again, the guys have trimmed these back. They're just starting to break growth. This is a beautiful variegated plant. Um, does very well in the summer. In June, you'll see a little yellow flower on it, but the foliage is just a knockout. This is Daravilla Cool Splash. Here we have another look at our uh, hemlocks, and these are 10 gallon grow bags. Look at these beauties. Here we have a stillbee, it's just starting to come up here, and then behind them, look at this blue color on these Elijah Blue uh, fescue grass. Here we have uh, Hakanaloa, and this is uh, Oriola, Japanese forest grass, and uh, you can see they're coming up nicely as well. Look at that color. Look at here, we have uh, Forever Goldie in the back, which is a very nice uh, upright gold arb. Look at the color on these three gallon mop cypress. See our three gallon azaleas, the gorgeous color on these dog was this red stem, just starting to break growth. Roadies are still tight and uh, we're shipping those out right now. You want to get those in the lot. And another look at the uh, quince. I mean you can see the buds coming out in these. This one happens to be the double take scarlet. Here we have uh, x berry Gibraltar and uh, you can see here nice breaks on those. Look at the buds. This one comes out a little later than our standard. Uh, Azaleas, but this is that fire orange that everybody's looking for. Hey, I wanted to come in here and give you an update on the lilacs here. These are our French hybrids. And I'll zoom in here. You can see the buds are just starting to come open. And uh, they're going to have some beautiful color. So they're looking good. Definitely want to get these colored plants because, you know, lilac's one of those, uh, the taste of spring here that everybody's going to be looking for. Here we're looking at PJMs, you know, and this is one of the earlier uh, to open. Uh, they're still tight though, they're just starting to open up. If you get these on the lot, you'll have the color right on your lot. PJMs. Look at these gorgeous Sky Pencil Holly. More great color in the dock here. We're looking, uh, this is Pierce Red Melon, a three gallon, and uh, they're just loaded with these flowers. Still coming on strong. We got color and tight bud. 
beautiful spring plant. Pierce Red Mill, three gallon. Here's a peek at some boxwood. Look at these beautiful three gallon winter gems. Here we're looking at a load of potted trees coming in. You know, trees have been really hot. Everyone's stocking up, getting ready, and look at these gorgeous plants coming in on the dot. Here we have uh, Magnolia jeans. You know, they got them tied up, but I think you can still see the buds at the top here are just starting to open up. And uh, they got some great colors. So Mags, again, is an early spring color plant. We have uh, some of the ones like your Royal Stars and everything are just opening up now in the landscape. So uh, definitely want to get your mags in. I pulled one of these bloomerangs off. Look at the buds. I mean, this is just amazing. This is going to have a lot of nice color. These are gorgeous three gallon syringa bloomerang. Here we have a favorite on the dock. This is Thuja Fire Chief. And uh, you can see here now they've got this gorgeous uh, kind of burnt orange foliage to it. And that's its natural color and uh, gorgeous full plants. Fire Chief. More of those uh, beautiful holly coming up here. Another boxwood update. Here we have our three gallon green velvets. I wanted to show you the size on these. Here we have Physocarpus Amber Jubilee. And uh, this is a beautiful plant from first editions. It's just starting to break and uh, you'll see some nice foliage on that. So I wanted to come down here and here we have some Wygilla and uh, the growers have trimmed these up. So I showed you the Dutia. They sheared them up, got them nice and tight so when these break they're going to be cute, cute plants. I had to show you these. I know I had them on last week's dock video but Gosh, you got to be kidding me. Look at these three gallons. Tipping 24 inch on these Prononas. Beautiful. Here's another just outstanding Pierre's Japonica series. This is Katsura from the Plants at Work collection. And it has these gorgeous red tinge to pink flowers on them right now. In the summer, we'll see a flush of just brilliant red foliage. This is Pierre's Katsura. Here, this is a plant, uh, if you're not using, definitely consider it. This is Cryptomeria Black Dragon. And uh, you can see this gorgeous shape to it. It's going to get around 8 to 10 feet as an individual specimen, which gives you a really cool texture uh, in the garden. So check this one out. This is Cryptomeria Black Dragon. Look at the growth on these. You know, again, they've cut them back. They're starting to flush. This is the beautiful chartreuse color of Lemon Daddy Hydrangea. And uh, this would be great, you know, for that semi-shade area. This would really lighten up that area and give you a gorgeous plant. Lemon Daddy Hydrangea. Here we're looking at our seven gallon. This is Forever Goldie. And as you can see here, outstanding yellow foliage to it. It's a gorgeous upright uh, arborvitae and uh, great color. Here we're looking at our seven gallon Miss Kim Lilacs. And again, these are just loaded with buds. I'm going to come in here and show you. Look at the bud count on these guys. This is going to be awesome here. These are sevens, we have gorgeous threes, the lilacs are all getting ready to go, so definitely want to uh, get those on the lot, and you've got a couple weeks of shelf life there, and see that beautiful color. Very nice size and shape on these three gallon Alberta spruce. Look at the value in these China Girl Holly. Awesome. Hey, I wanted to show you this one, this is our own Emerald Magic Holly, and uh, this would be a great boxwood substitute because you have gorgeous evergreen here. We can see in the uh, fall and winter it gets a little bit of a purple hue but it's breaking growth now. Nice tight compact threes. Another great color we're looking at here is our three gallon old gold junipers. Look at the size on those. Gorgeous tips, great color. Here's another look at that wajilla. Again the guys, this is spilled wine and uh, you can see it's starting to break growth. The guys tipped them all back, shaped them all up. Look at that nice shaping they've done for you. And then when these uh, fully leaf out, you've got a perfect plant. This is Wajilla spilled wine. Here we have a newer uh, Physocarpus from Proven Winners. This is Tiny Wine Gold. So this is a dwarf Physocarpus. It has a gold tinge to it. Uh, great for small spaces and landscape. And uh, this could be a small hedge and or in a container or even as an individual specimen. This is a new one, Physocarpus Tiny Wine Gold. Here we're looking at uh, some peonies, and this one is our two gallon uh, peony. This one happens to be Sarah Bernhardt, and uh, you can see they're just starting to wake up. Gorgeous plants. Well, you can see here, if you're looking at last week to this week, again, the guys trim these back for you. They're starting to leaf out. This is gonna be a gorgeous, tight, compact habit. We're looking at knockout three gallon roses here in uh, natural season, 
Yeah, they're coming on nice. Here we have uh, another proven winner. This is uh, Azalea Bloomathon, and uh, these are just butted up. Look at the color buds on these. This one happens to be uh, double pink. Got the whole series. They're looking good. Hey, I wanted to give you another look. Again, these are paniculata hydrangeas, and uh, they've been cut back. They haven't started to break just yet. Look at the nice branching structure on those. You know, the guys shaped them up for you, getting them in really good uh, shape to leaf out and look sensational. Here we're looking at some Achalesia. So we'll see perennials starting to kick in. We're going to have some prime and time perennials in the very near future. Be sure to check that program out where you can rack up the savings. So this is a gorgeous Achalesia. And again, keep in touch. We've got some great plants to show you. Well, we're starting to see those trees starting to kick in and come into the dock here. And a good assortment of trees shipping. Beautiful plants. Look at the pyramidal holly. We got some great looking pyramidal hollies this year. You definitely want to get those on your order. That's an instant landscape plant there. Just released here we see our, uh, these are hydrangea petiolaris three gallons. Look at that full three gallon trellis. What a value. Here we're looking at uh, three gallon Rosea elegans. A lot of nice buds to them. You can see here they haven't started to, to crack open just yet. Here we're looking at Azalea Gerard's Crimson. You know, gorgeous full plants. Just starting to show a little bit of color. And then we're coming up here to a few more Physocarpus and these beautiful cherries. And uh, we see a few Dianthus coming up, the roses. I wanted to show you the three gallon Miss Kims. Look at the buds on those. Gorgeous. You can see the docks jumping pretty full now. It's uh, really kicked up a notch. Here I wanted to show you some day lilies. And uh, yeah, I know it's summer color, but look at the value on these. If you're doing landscape jobs, this is a value here. These are 19 centimeters. Look at all the divisions here. This one is Stella. Let's come over here. They're just getting this one ready. This is Fragrant Returns. And uh, this is an approved form of Happy Returns. Bigger flower, fragrant, beautiful plants. Look at all those divisions in that. What a great value on these clumps. Be sure to check that availability. We got a good deal on these this week. Here I pulled one of these uh, seven gallon Nova Zemblas to show you the bud count on them. Beautiful big plant, 1821s plus with all this color. Nova Zembla, seven gallon. You know, azaleas are a popular plant, and here we're looking at our three gallon uh, azalea Karen. And uh, you can see here they're loaded with flower buds and uh, it's typical that they're starting to open to the center just a little bit but they're going to crack color and you definitely want to get these on your lot so get your azaleas in guys we have some beautiful plants for you here's another azalea look at that are you kidding me this is a three gallon this is Stuart Stonian here's another look at that load of trees that came in uh, here we have some Japanese maples you can see they're just starting to crack and uh, they're looking great look at that and then everyone's stocking up on cherries. Now's the time when you want them. They're in bloom in the gardens. And uh, everyone's looking for that color to get them in the mood for spring. We have some sensational looking plants for you. Look at the value and shape in these guys. Here we're looking at gallium. We have an iris. This one's Lion King. Uh, the phlox candy stores are just starting to come up. Sedums are starting to break. And boy, do you see all these tags? You know, you get these plants in now, they're starting to break up, got this gorgeous uh, lush growth on them, this big beautiful tag, that's going to help you sell that plant. Here we have uh, just a small portion of an order, but this is the new bushel and berry, and uh, this one is Perpetua. This is the newest one here, and you can see it's butted up. What do flowers mean? Flowers mean fruit, right? So we got a plant here that's going to be heavily fruited, and guess what? It's going to come back later in the season and give you another round of fruit. This is a hot new one from Bushel and Berry. This is Perpetual. Yeah, I wanted to show you these. This is a dwarf birch called Magical Globe, and it's going to keep a nice tight habit to it, and uh, it's grafted on Jack Monte. So I'll come in here. You can see the little head on these. Nice, nice plant, and... Uh, as it matures out, you can see the bark, the white bark starting to show and peel. You're going to have a great little plant for a courtyard or a small space garden. This is Betula Magical Globe. 
Well, that's a quick walk through the dock today. I think we've seen a lot of great plants and a lot of great options for your next delivery. Be sure to check that availability and get with our sales team. I hope we're loading this truck for you.